What's up, YouTube? Today is Tuesday, November 22nd. I just got back from hot yoga. Like I said in my Q&A, I want to start doing that more often. So I bought a unlimited month pass this month. So we're gonna see how it goes and see how often I actually get in there. I've gone twice in the past three days. So that's pretty good. I just feel better, like my joints are less sticky and I used to do it all the time. So stopping completely over the past year has been not good on my body. And it just opens me up and I just have a better range of motion and I just feel so good. The reason why I'm doing this video, which I had to hurry because I have some wedding things to do with my mom, is because I have a new sponsor. Oh, uh, okay, I'll show you what it is. <laughs> so, as you guys may know, um, Katie Hearn came out with her own meal prep service called Bite. And they contacted me the other day and asked if I would be interested in a sponsorship. And of course I said yes because of many reasons. There are a lot of meal prep services out there, um, a ton. And I have tried probably every single one. And to be honest, I kind of feel just like bloated and uh, sometimes it's frozen food and then reheated and uh, there's a ton of sodium in it and they're not some of some of them are very simple simple meals like I usually eat and just doesn't taste that fresh um, I'm not bashing on any other meal prep services I think that they're great but I was looking specifically for something more along the lines of how I take in more nutrient dense foods and less complicated meals and more like simple meals like sweet potato, really tasty chicken, and like vegetables. That's how I like to eat. Uh, I eat pretty simple. And it just helps me feel good. It helps me perform better in the gym. And uh, the macros on the bite meals are a lot lower than some of the other meal prep companies. Uh, it's just what I'm looking for personally. I was looking for something that was a little bit lower macros, especially when I'm on prep. My macros get very, very low, so. I would have to split split the other meals up into like thirds, but these meals are perfect because they are fairly lower and they can definitely fit in a wide range of people's macros. So you can make them a little bit heavier or you can make them lighter, whatever your needs are. Um, and I also love the fact that they are fresh and never frozen. The first time I tried Bite Meals was with M. Dunk in Vegas. And she brought some with her there and she had some extra so she gave some to me and gave me their cookies as well and I just fell in love their chicken is so so good it's like pre-sliced and grilled and it's I don't even know what why it tastes so good but it's very very good and uh, their veggies were super bright you know how uh, you can overcook veggies and they get a little dark or mushy or anything like that no these veggies were steamed to perfection and everything was seasoned perfectly i just i was like oh my gosh these meals are amazing so the fact that they contacted me the other day i like screamed i was so excited because this is the meal prep company that i feel like i have been waiting out for and i have been um very grateful that they've given me the opportunity to partner up with them and so I have a new sponsor and i'm so excited um that being said i do have a discount code for you guys it's Taylor, really simple. You just go on to bitemeals.com and you can type in the code if you guys want to save money. If you guys are looking, um, I know my sister's definitely going to be doing these meals. She's going to order them for her school because she's in college and she has a super busy lifestyle. So she's like in and out of class, gym, homework. She doesn't really have time to prep meals. Um, so she's definitely going to be using these meals daily and I can't wait for her to start using them too. All right, so I ordered two of the sausage pancake egg whites. Okay, these blondies are literally to die for. They're gooey and everything without even heating them up. And I'll show you the macros on them. They're amazing. And that's really good for a cookie. I also got the chicken bite bowl and it comes with a guacamole uh, Greek yogurt, non-fat Greek yogurt, chicken, there's some corn salsa in there and rice. 
And then I got a couple of the salmon rice asparagus, which is really great. Their salmon is the best meal prep salmon I've ever had. And their asparagus is definitely, it's better than what I eat right now. Because <laughs> I eat the frozen microwave one and it's just, oh, so good. I ordered a lot of the chicken, chicken potatoes and broccoli. I ordered a lot of these. Uh, Nick and I are making sure that I eat the same foods this week to keep digestion on point for my photo shoot next week. So I wanted to try their tofu. I actually like tofu. It tastes good to me, so I ordered some of that. I also ordered some bulk, things in bulk. So I got their sweet potatoes in bulk. I ordered 16 ounces of that. It looks like they roast their sweet potatoes, which is really great. Um, I ordered bulk seasonal mixed veggies and I ordered in bulk red potatoes. These are just some things that are a little harder for me to cook that take a lot of time. And I also did some chicken too, bulk chicken. Um, these are just some things that I love. Like I love cooking and everything, but to have them on hand to just throw in a Tupperware and go is huge for me. Super grateful, like beyond blessed about this opportunity and I just feel, I just feel very, very, I don't know, very excited and very blessed. I just wanted to preface this video uh, with this exciting news. I mean, you guys not, might not be too excited, but I'm very excited and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. from little Lou's underscore you mentioned in your videos that you were in a bulk how would you say your bulking is different than other competitors to me you seem pretty lean but with more muscle mass so a bulk means like I don't know I guess I am like lean bulking and I feel like that is the best approach to take to a competition prep because if you gain a stupid amount of body fat percentage for your frame it's going to be very hard to take that body fat percentage off in that amount of weeks that you have for prep so you're going to have to push very very hard and in that you can lose more muscle mass than you than if you were going into your competition season a little bit leaner now you don't want to stay too lean because you're not going to your hormones aren't going to be back on point and you need body fat to gain that lean mass I mean, you can gain lean mass a little bit while you're very lean, but the gains aren't going to be as substantial as they were they would be if you were to gain the right amount of body fat that you need. So, uh, I feel like every body has their sweet spot as to where everything's comfortable and they they can still gain that lean mass without having to put on a ton of body fat percentage. But um, that's why I'm relatively lean right now. Is because we are working my metabolism up to be adaptable to a higher caloric intake so that when we do start cutting, we don't have to push as hard. My metabolism is uh, revamped and also you have to eat a lot to grow. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. I have a video on it's um, how I feel post-competition if you want to look at that and kind of see more in depth of what we're doing, but that's why I'm lean. And also, I'm very thankful that I'm lean right now because, or fairly lean right now, because um, I have random photo shoots pop up all the time where I have to be ready. And I just got one, an email to an, like a week ago saying that I need to be ready for the 2017 ad campaign for bodybuilding.com. So I'm very thankful that we're very lean because we don't have to push too hard right now and um, I'll feel comfortable going into that photo shoot. So. Oh, my camera's gonna die. Are you a certified personal trainer? Yes, and a certified personal trainer. I have been for four years. Um, do you have any advice for someone trying to get into the industry? How I got sponsored in that video, um, I might link this in the description because I'm getting, I've already gotten that question, so. How did you get your friends to respect your decision to compete in a bikini competition? I've been toying with the idea of competing for a while, but my friends like to go out and drink and eat, and I feel like they would give me such a hard time if I give those things up to compete. From L Wood W D E. 
Okay, so yes, um, I have those friends too, and that's kind of where you're going to be able to see who your true friends are, to be honest. Um, any true friend will support your decision to do whatever you would like to do. Even if they don't like it, they should support it. Um, in terms of staying strong while they go out to drink and eat, that's going to be the hard one. You need to really want... You need to really want the change and you really need to want to make that goal reality in order for you to make it come true. Um, and also in order for you to turn down the opportunity to go out with them. Not saying that you shouldn't go out with them, I think that you should and maybe just balance yourself. Uh, but it's going to be hard and there are going to be times where you're going to have to say no and you're going to have to you know, find other ways to connect with them. Maybe go for coffee or study together if you're in school or uh, go shopping together. Bring them to the gym with you. Um, do things like that to connect with them rather than going out and drinking and eating and um, all of that stuff. And it is hard, but they need to realize that this is what you want and um, they should support you in, in that way. Why do you have a coach if you're coaching yourself? Just wondering, not trying to be rude. From FL Girl. Um, that's a good question. So I had a coach through my first bikini competition because I didn't have the knowledge myself to do that on my own. Uh, and then to compete in the bodybuilding spokesmodel competition last year, I coached myself. And you know, things went very well and I I did great, but with a coach, they're able to look at you and see things that you can't see yourself. So you're with yourself every single day. You're not going to see the little changes that were made the past week or so. Uh, so I have a coach to help push me to look at me in a different light and, and I'm very... I guess I'm very hard on myself and um, I need someone to look at me and tell me things are fine or look at me and tell me what needs to change. Um, and then also it's kind of stressful coaching myself as well as others. I know people can do it and I could probably do it if I wanted to but um, it's stressful having to worry about myself so much and what I'm doing and what today's macro is going to be, what do I need to do here and I guess it's just a lot less stressful to have a solid plan from someone and you just trust them with all your heart and you just give your body to them. <laughs> that sounds so bad. So I guess um, it's a lot easier, like makes my life a lot easier and I kind of just like give my, give my physique and my goals to him and he, he uh, makes them come true. Yes, I could probably do it, but I don't think I would push myself that hard. And also the accountability factor when you're on prep is huge because if you have to report to your coach that morning and you haven't done your cardio, like, he's going to get on you. Uh, just wondering if you've experienced bloating often and when slash if you do, how to prevent it. I find a lot of bloat no matter what I'm eating. This is Heath Andrea 3. So... Bloating is, I would say when I had a lot of bloating, I was eating a lot, a lot of veggies and very, very high protein with hardly any carbs. That's when I experienced the most bloating. And also, I feel like you're, when your body adjusts to carbs, like consuming carbs, then that's when your body stop, stops to get as bloated. So, I'll do this for example. Back in the day, I used to hardly eat any carbs, like any high energy carbs, like oatmeal or cream of rice or rice or sweet potatoes. I would only stick to veggies. So when I did have the sweet potatoes and the rice, I would get immediately bloated. Um, but I endured the bloat for quite some time, I would say a few months, and I did make myself consume the rice and the sweet potatoes and everything and I noticed that after those months my body started being okay with taking that food in to where it didn't bloat me as much so I think it's all what your body is used to if your body's not used to taking in a certain food or uh, a certain 
um, like carb or anything like that, then your body's gonna blow because it's like, I don't know how to digest this. What are you doing to me? I'm just gonna let it chill in my stomach because that's that's all I really know how to do with it. So that's how I would kind of go about the bloating thing. Um, if you if you want to start to incorporate those types of foods, then do so. Endure the bloating, and it should go away after a few months once your body gets acclimated to it. Uh, with bloating otherwise than that, uh, what I do is, um, to help digestion, I take, once every morning I drink hot lemon water, hot lemon water with my probiotic and then coffee. Um, sometimes I take it a step further and I take in the Metamucil sugar-free fiber packet. It's going to digest better than the Benefiber. So if you're looking at getting a fiber packet, definitely go with Metamucil. And hi, baby. And uh, I'll do that and then it definitely helps digestion get right back on track. So with bloating, I would do that. I would also watch your fiber intake. You may be taking in too much fiber. There is a thing about not taking too much fiber and not take in taking too much fiber. So everyone kind of has their sweet spot, their sweet spot in terms of numbers and grams of fiber. So I would track your intake for about four days, see where your fiber's at, don't change anything that you're eating. And then if your fiber is out the roof, like if you're a female eating 40, 50 grams of fiber and you're having this trouble, that's probably why. So maybe switch out, you know, the broccoli or the oats for something a little bit easier digestible like jasmine rice or maybe quicker digesting fruit or maybe sweet potatoes without the skin so stuff like that uh, really watch what you're eating and and kind of see what how your body is responding to the food when it bloats so like if you're bloating think about what you just ate before that or or even before that and then make a little adjustments from there this is from Wonder Woman Fit. Hey girl. I want to know all the deets on your wedding. When, how many people, theme, cake, flavors, dress, style, flowers. Give me the rundown. Love you. Glad your back is feeling better. Can't wait to see you at the LA Fit. Okay, so. Mm, our wedding is the end of July. It's going to be here in Indiana. I'm trying to keep it small. I want a very, very small, intimate wedding. But it's so hard guys like you think of people and you're like well yes I have to invite them like I've been friends with them for years or yes I have to invite them I've been best friends with them in college but it's hard because when you lose touch with people but you still think about how great your friendship was um, and you can still see you being friends later on in life um, that's when it gets hard and like having everyone have plus ones and having all of Steve's fraternity brothers and everything so I'm trying to keep it under 90 to 100 which is so hard because I love love my people and I don't want to not invite anyone so that's hard um also it's like a thing if you're in a fraternity that you have to invite your frat brothers to every wedding but I love them so it's all right this is underscore cat zero underscore. I love your body type. I'm, I'm a petite 5'3", but your bot has been goals. You are just lean and toned with curves. What is your workout breakdown macros? Just so I have an idea, I'm setting to be a dietitian, so I know everyone is different. Love that you include wine in your diet. How often do you track it? Okay, m workout breakdown. I gave you guys that earlier. Macros right now, I'm on a hard cut because of a photo shoot in two weeks, which is crazy. Uh, my macros got up to 300 carb, 65 fat, 165 protein, but right now, um, let's see, today I'm at 120 carb, 50 fat, 165 protein. So we've dropped carbs, we haven't had to add any cardio, and I'm dropping weight, which is another great thing about revamping your metabolism and reverse dieting. You can go into situations like this without having to kill yourself to get ready. So that's my macros right now. Um, we're gonna go back up in about two weeks or so after I get off the photo shoot. And uh, wine, 
no wine right now because I'm cutting. I might have some on Thanksgiving, but when I'm on a cut, I like to make sure I'm eating all nutrient-dense foods. It's just better for your body. Your body needs those nutrients to thrive performance-wise, metabolism-wise, and digestion-wise. Um, and that's how I like to eat. I don't like to add anything like wine is, you know, so many macros. I'd rather have carbs and not starve for that one glass of wine. So that's just my choice. So I'm not having wine right now, but on the off season, I have it two to three nights a week and I do either 16 grams of carbs, seven fat or 30 grams of carbs because I think a glass of wine is 130 calories. And you, if you divide that up, if you divide that by two, take that number, divide it by four, and take the other number and divide it by nine, then you have your even amounts of fats and carbs. How was your college experience? It was great. I went to Purdue University, and um, I was very good at trying to balance my healthy lifting nutrition lifestyle plus going out and drinking with my friends and going to the bars. To be honest, I loved both, so I incorporated both. How long have you and your fiance been together? A, it's Sevia. Seva. We've been together for five and a half years. Hope you all enjoyed my Q&A. Haven't done one for quite a while. I'm going to edit this and realize that it is very, very long, so I will try to shorten it as much as I can. stronger than mine, just remember that. We always have had stronger body <laughs> as a whole. He does.